picture this in your mind. Dean is jogging down the centre of the road. 80 metres behind comes a truck. It's travelling at double my speed. But I'm not worried. Why not? Well, have a look at this. If I'm 80 metres in front, by the time he reaches that point, I'm travelling at half his speed, so I'll be 40 metres out in front. By the time he reaches that point, I'll be 20 metres in front. By the time he reaches that point, I'll be 10 metres in front. There, 5 metres, and so on. In fact, by the time he gets to within one centimetre of me, if he covers that distance, I'll be half a centimetre in front. So he can never catch me. Something strange going on there, isn't it? See if you can work out why. Funny numbers. They are not the only funny numbers. Have a look at these funny numbers. Imagine you have a pet rabbit. There he is there, sitting there, all by himself. Now next year you buy Mrs. Rabbit. So you have, at the second year, two rabbits. Now you know what rabbits are like. Before long, they'll start multiplying. Let's say at the end of the third year, they have doubled their number. And so you now have four rabbits. Now if you say they're doubling their number every year, at the end of the next year, we'll be up to this point here, eight. And at the end of the next year, double again up to 16. Now, if I join the tops of the rabbit's ears, we get a strange-shaped curve that looks something like this. There it goes, getting steeper and steeper and steeper. Now, if we take those, those numbers from 1 to 16 and we come across here and then drop lines down, look what happens. There's number 1 right there. Number 2 comes across here. It meets the red line there. We drop it down here, so there it is at that point there. But number three is over here. Can you see what's starting to happen? The numbers are starting to crowd together. Number four, of course, is that point there. Here's number five, crowding together more and more. By the time we get up to the last few numbers, look what's happened. Here's number 14. We come across from the number 14. We come down in this position here. Number 14 is there. Number 15 is almost on top of it. There. And number 16, of course, is very close as well. So the numbers have crowded together. We have a funny number line. What I've done here is to transfer one of those funny number lines onto an ice cream stick. And that's what they look like. All the numbers from 1 to 16. Look how they've crowded together at the end. Why on earth would I want to do that? Well, I've done it for a very special reason. I've done it to two ice cream sticks. And what I'm going to do is to place those on top of a piece of cardboard, which is just big enough to hold the two of them. There's one number line, and here's the second one. You'll notice that those numbers line up exactly. Now, I can hold them in place with a paper clip by simply placing it over the top of them like this. And then, surprisingly enough, I find that this little number line, pair of number lines, can do all sorts of funny things for me. Fancy things. Multiplication, for example. Let's say we want to multiply 3 by 4. All we do is to start by taking the 1 from the bottom line, where I have a red triangle, and we slide it along until it reaches the three on the top line. Then we slide the paper clip along until it reaches the four on the bottom line. And the end of the paper clip, the bit I've colored red, will give us the answer. Can you see what it is? Yes, it's pointing to number 12. It actually does multiply. Not only that, it also divides. Have a look at this. Let's say we want to divide 14 by seven. All we do to begin with is to line up 14 on the top line, there it is, with seven on the bottom line. Make sure they line up exactly. You can see they do. Then bring the paper clip along to hold them carefully in place. And then simply run your eyes back along the bottom one until you come to the red triangle. And that will point to the answer. 14 divided by 7 is 2. So that fancy little gadget both multiplies and divides. It's called a slide rule. We didn't invent it. They've been around for hundreds of years. Here's one, for example, that looks very similar to the one that I made. It's much more accurate, though. Here's a more complicated one. These have been used by engineers, scientists, architects, mathematicians to do all sorts of calculations. Although these days, they've been largely superseded by the electronic calculator. But with a few simple things, ice cream sticks, paper clip, and a piece of cardboard, you can make your own slide rule.